Hey love bugs in cyber world. Welcome back to yet another fabulous episode of the Lorainbow Show. Today's guest, Mikey. Okay, now Mikey and his brother have both been placed in foster care when they were younger and now they are reuniting and they are raising money for a short documentary about their life and here is my favorite part. Mikey is AKA Brittany K. O'Day, who is a drag entertainer of Western Mass. The brother has never done drag, and for the first time they will be performing together. She'll be here a little later on to tell you all about, you know, the hardships of her and her brother's relationship and what they're doing. So I'm excited about that. And in our girl talk, honey, I got some juicy tea. You do not want to go nowhere. We'll be right back. Hi, world. It's me, Lorraine. The queen of laughter. This is where I get to read all of your comments out there, Cyber World. And um, there's been some good comments and some good girl talk happening, honey. Like, for an example, the Gay Star News reporter transgendered and gay candidate face off to race of Maryland State Senate seat. What were your thoughts um, and who will take the seat? I'm not a real political person, so either or, I think it would be a successful victory because if a transgendered or a gay person sits on this um, House of Senate, it's still a, a, a victory for our team. Claire Michelle Gomez said, either way, it's a win. Um, with that said, we've had gay people in position of power before, so why not members of the trans community? Claire, I agree. I think that it would be a victory either way. It's, we may not think it's a big deal because I don't follow politics. I'm sure you don't follow politics. Honestly, um, I have a, a phenomenal time uh, reading all of your comments. Please do so. This ends my girl talk for today. So stay tuned for next Monday, honey, and let's see who is girl talking on Cyber World. But don't go nowhere because next we have Mikey, a.k.a. Brittany K. O'Day, recapping his life with his brother and the project that they're working on. We'll be right back. Hi world, it's me Lorraine, and I'm looking for exciting, interesting, fierce, fun guests for my show. If you think you have a creative, interesting story you want to tell, go to my website, www.therainbow.com, or go to my Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The Rainbow Show. This is my guest. This is Brittany K. O'Day, a.k.a., or is it Mikey, a.k.a., Brittany K. O'Day, which one? Brittany K. O'Day. <laughs> Brittany K. O'Day. Today. Today. Her brother was separated as a kid, is that correct? We were in foster care as children, and after coming back from that, we all kind of just went our own ways. So how long were you guys separated, literally? Um, we were separated, um, well I wouldn't use the term separated, but um, we just, like I said, when we went, when we came home from foster care, we all kind of just like went our Lost own touch. ways. Lost touch. Lost okay. touch, because of everything that was going on in our household. Everybody just did their own thing, pretty much. So and how long were you in, untouched with your brother for? Like, till recently, to be honest. But how old like, were you when it, when you were re, when you got back home? Were you still a young child? Were yeah, you a I was young. I was a young child when we um, got back. And then, like I said, I was out of my house at like 14, 15. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so... Tell us what you're doing. From my understanding, they were on the radio this morning, 93.1 Mix, yes. right? Mix 90s, 1.3. Yes. They were, so, and I, the reason why I know this is because Brittany and I have some history together. We've known each other for some years, and she called on me to host a fundraiser that we're doing at Divas Nightclub on July 5th, which is 4th of July weekend. You all better be there and to see if drag can ultimately bring the gap or the closure in what is kind of not closed. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to work? I, I do. I've always loved all of my brothers and my brother Daniel, he reached out to me just one day out of the blue. He just called me and he's like, listen, I'm really just been thinking and having such a hard time with um, why we're not close and why we don't have that bond that siblings have. Mm -hmm. So he said, you know, I want to reach out into your world and I want to step into it and Ulti I want to do this documentary about us, you know, you going to New York, learning choreography, and us putting on this big show, and 
perform together because he wants to really reconnect with me and that's nice. been now really, is he your older brother or younger brother? he's older than me okay is he straight or gay oh he's straight so that's going to be the most amazing <laughs> part yes is, and is he going to be in drag and you're oh, going yeah. to do a duet he's doing the full costume nice. hair wigs makeup tell us a little bit about britney how long have you been doing drag and is it something that you thought you would be doing at your age or did you just fall into drag like i did I pretty much just fell into it. Like I started going out to like Oz and all that, and everybody was seeing me as a boy dancing to Britney songs, of course. Yeah, that's a whole nother show. And <laughs> whole nother show. And my friend Jay, he he had a birthday party, and he's like, "Listen, bitch, you gotta do a show." So I got my choreographer. Shout out to J Rock, love you. He did together. my movie, love you too, dude. Yes. We got it all together, and I put on my first show, and then from there, the wonderful Bianca Du Bois uh -huh. was hosting, and then she offered me a gig at Divas, and from then, it's been, been a well, while, three years. Three years? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I, Brittany, um, it's a wonderful thing that you're doing, and I'm super excited that your brother reached out to you, because it's not too many times. See, I have, I come from a line of six brothers, mm -hmm. and two have passed on in heaven, hopefully, and, um... They're very accepting of me, and for a straight brother, and all of my brothers are straight, and I happen to be the only one who is playing on the other side of the team, and mm -hmm. um, it's really, really brave for him to want to step into your world, because honestly, if you have a straight sibling, or you have a straight um, family member, they really don't know what we go through unless they walk in our shoes, and I commend him. What's his name again, Daniel? Daniel Christian. Daniel Christian, I commend you. I can't wait till you know what we go through. I, <laughs> I, if I can give you any tips, darling, practice those shoes before you break an ankle. Use as much duct tape as you possibly can. Lashes, hair, honey, and just feel the moment, girl. Or boy, or whatever you're gonna be for that night. Just feel the moment. <laughs> okay. So, um, tell us about this interview. Um, what ninety three point one? How did that come about, and what did you guys talk about? We were on the morning show with Zito, and let me tell you, they were amazing. Shout out to you guys. You guys were awesome. From the moment we walked in, they made us feel right at home. Like it was amazing. Did so, you put him in drag? Because I see. Yes, my yeah. mother, Crystal Ramos, of course. She put him. Fabulous makeup artist. Shout out to Crystal. Honey. She's taught me everything I know today. Yes. They were just everybody was so amazing there. Thank you guys for that. Nice. And I thank you, uh, 931 for doing that for a friend of mine and something that I'm a part of. So tell us, where can we find more information about Britney K.O. Day? What's going on in the future? Do you have any plans? What's going on? Because, you know, it seems like she's going to be a documentary girl now, honey. Yeah, well, I'm going to be pretty, pretty busy with that for a little while. And, can we um, expect a world tour? Well, <laughs> always, darling, of course. <laughs> So, um, you know, just staying local, you know, doing my shows. I plan on doing some more shows in New York. I got booked out there. Nice. So can't wait for that. And um, you can catch me on Facebook, Brittany K. O'Day on Facebook. So how'd your name come about? Oh, Let's God, talk about name. that for a second. Well, that's kind of... Because um, wasn't it Brittany Fierce before? It was... My first show was Brittany Fierce because I didn't know what to call myself. Right. And ever since grade school, people have been calling me Brittany, literally. Right. So... Die hand... Hands down, Britney fan, honey. Yeah. Britney, if you watch my show, <laughs> honey, you need to. I, I think she would pass out. I don't even think would. she would even. St st all you would have to do is just like pick up the phone and be like, "Hi, this is Britney," and then you would you would be I'm going done. to jail for murder, honey. Yeah, she's I'm on the floor. She's on the floor. Um, but <laughs> yes, yeah, so you are really as I had Britney fan. Like really. I got the Britney from that, and honestly, because when I did my first show, I didn't even have a name yet. So um, I believe it was Bianca that was just like, "Well, bitch, Britney." Right. Here you go, Brittany. So then um, I thought of Fierce because it rhymed like Brittany Fierce, kind of sort right. of. And then I and she got. She thought the, she was Fierce, honey. Don't let her play you. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. So then um, the O'Day I got from one of my other girls, Aubrey O'Day. Love her from Danny the Kane. Shout out to you, Aubrey. I love you. Just seeing you guys in New York. And um, yeah, that's. I wanted two amazing performers that I really love that I wanted to like channel. I, I just love high energy numbers. That's my favorite thing because I love to dance. Right, yeah, she's Britney Spears, honey. Don't you argue with her, honey. She is Britney's fan club ambassador. No shade. So, no, honestly, I, again, I want to say thank you for being brave enough to come on my show and talk about this whole um, re kind of, um, and it's not reuniting, it's kind of um, re closing forming a again. bond. We are forming a bond. Forming a bond that we don't have. Right, two blood brothers, one straight, one gay, through the art of drag, will hopefully be able to mend anything that um, was missed in the last 
um, years, and we congratulate your brother, Daniel. <laughs> you might like it too much, honey. <laughs> and listen, and if you ever have doubts, call me, girl, because you're fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. They so, all love you, Danny. Yeah, we all love you, Danny, <laughs> but um, we might have a little change of heart when we see uh, Mom Quisha come out. <laughs> right. Right, I know. <laughs> Um, but no, thank you so much, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to thank come um, and have an interview with me. So we're going to do our double kisses and smooches, so we're going to give hugs and kisses. Mwah, mwah. Don't forget to check out Brittany K.O. Day on Facebook and come to one of her local shows. She performs at Divas Nightclub, and she performs at Oz, soon to be New York and Boston. So stay tuned. She's an up and rising girl, and she's a friend of mine and a sister, and I love her dearly. Till next time, love you guys. Smooches. Thank you. Hi world, it's me Lorraine. The queen of laughter, the queen of giving, the queen of believing, the queen of talking. The queen of laughter.